Hi, I'm Denga. I'm freezing. Even my feet are cold. And I haven't even got feet. Change, change the background. No, that's a green screen. Stop the snow. We have some cold, hard science facts for you. Over to our expert. Hello, I'm Rodney, the penguin. Not that sort of bloody penguin. I've been asked to present today's question on Schrodinger's brats. Miss Mildred Radiator from Paddyham, England has messaged us at Schrodinger's Brats HQ. She'd like to know why penguins' feet don't freeze to the icy floor. Antarctica, you can get way below freezing, like minus 30 degrees Celsius, and everything is covered in snow and ice. It's bloody cold. The life of a penguin basically consists of walking around frozen lands and diving into icy waters for food. And oh yes, we poo every 20 minutes. Bit of a boring life really. No Netflix, no Amazon, YouTube, Disney Plus. No bloody Wi-Fi. But lots of smelly fish, yum. I <laughs> penguins don't walk backwards. With that said, it's a wonderment to you humans how our bare feet don't stick to the floor without us wearing boots or socks. <laughs> the answer is, penguins have specifically adapted feet. These adaptations keep the blood in our feet just barely above 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, while keeping the rest of our body nice and warm. Penguins keep their body warm with downy feathers and thick layers of fat. Our feet are specifically designed for swimming and walking on the frozen, slippery, icy ground. Our feet are featherless and webbed with lots of surface area, so it's really easy for them to lose heat. Our feet are tough and they're mostly made of bone and keratin, and the muscles that control our feet are tucked up in our warm body for protection, controlled by strong tendons. In a nutshell, us penguins keep our feet just above freezing temperatures by utilising a mechanism called counter-current heat exchange. Meet Alexandria. Say hello, Alexandria. At the top of a penguin's foot are blood vessels wrapped around each other so that different temperatures of blood percolating and flowing in opposite directions or, just like the name implies, countercurrent. Countercurrent heat exchange allows the heat to transfer from the warm blood entering the feet to the cold blood returning to the body's core. So, by the time the blood gets down to the feet, most of the heat has already been carried back up to keep those important muscles and organs and body parts warm. This process allows the penguin's feet to stay just warm enough to keep them from freezing. After all, what use would a penguin be if we just got stuck to the ice? Thank goodness for current countercurrent heat exchange, and thank goodness this video is in 20 minutes. Otherwise, I'd need to boom. Anyway, thanks for these questions, keep them coming, and remember to like and subscribe. Ta-ta for now, in a bit lads.